Hey guys, it's Mastiff again. I'm going to do another uh, video here, a short one. Um, some of you guys are asking questions in here about how to fix your settings uh, for Rise of Flight when you don't have full, uh, full screen. So I'm going to show you um, where to find your settings icon in your games folder so that helps you adjust your GPU settings and your graphics and it's the, the one tool that you'll need to use all the time when you're doing any kind of tweaking for uh, Rise of Flight. So without further, I'll start this off. Um, close that. Alright, so you're on your desktop. You want to find your your Steam icon which is the Steam Rise of Flight uh, Channel Battles Edition. Now, some of you guys are going to see... Oh, look at... Where's my damn game at? Well, this is just a quick shortcut to the Steam Run Game ID. So, your game, you're going to find it in your PC computer. Me, I have multiple hard drives. As you can see, many partitions. Um, I do have a Steam partition right here. But that's not where I put my Steam Rise of Flight folder. I put it in another one. I put it under the K partition. Um, my main Steam operating system is here, under Steam's uh, this um, partition here. And then my games are spread out all over here. They're different because, you know, the, the games just eat up a lot of a lot of uh, space so I have like three terabytes two one terabyte of a SSD and uh, one terabyte of a regular 7200 RPM hard drive and another terabyte of 7200 RPM drive so anyway uh, we'll go here to K this is where mine's at Steam library Steam apps common and oh no it's not this one <laughs> over here I think it's in this one nope mm, this one nope huh. maybe it's this one Ah, there it is. So it's under my L partition. So you're going to have to look for your Steam folder, your Steam apps. Uh, let's see. For you guys that have it under your regular just Steam, uh, you find your Steam. Uh, you'll find Steam, Steam apps, common, and then in here you'll find your Rise of Flight. Here, I got it under here. This is what it'll look like. You are going to look for bin game. This is where all your uh, EXEs for launching the game are at. This is where your editor is, if you want to learn how to do editing. And this is your common redist folder. I'm going to show you this real quick. Under here is where all your redistribution of files for running uh, and executables for running uh, graphics interface games like Rise of Flight. So you got your DirectX right here and you will run it with this DirectX setup. Uh, your .NET fix which is an old version so if you run it and it says don't worry about it we've already got another version running here then don't worry about it. And then your your VC redistributed. Run both of those, 86 and 64. Forgot what that does. All right, so we'll go in here to the bin game folder under release, and you're gonna see this. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. This is your settings launcher. So you, you can make a shortcut to it by right clicking on it and send to desktop or create shortcut. 
That's what I'll do. It's easy for you. That way, when you need to make settings, changes to Rise of Flight when they've updated or something, or you've done an update. I've already got one in here, so I'll go ahead. Oh, it's pushing that button. I'll go ahead and start it. Alright, so this is what you're going to see. Right here under these tab settings. This is where your graphics tab settings are. Your game settings tab, your sound, your camera, and your network. You want to go to the graphics. You want to set your screen resolution to your native resolution. This one is mine, 2560 by 1440, BenQ. You want to click on full screen mode, vertical synchronization. I have these things on. Right down here at the bottom, the more stuff you turn on high, the more memory usage is going to climb up, and then you're going to have issues. So if you uh, run a very uh, graphical uh, or a non-graphical user video card, like a lower edition, like 680 and below, you're going to want to run medium settings. I run a 980T, so I'm running, uh, I, I got everything turned on and maxed out, so. Uh, and just make your settings here. And then you're going to click uh, OK. And then um, once you click OK, it's going to close. This is for your game settings inside, so you want to turn modifications on, you'll turn them on here. So this is like when you want to run mods, not the game mods. These are mods that people use for JS, GME, file, folder, to run uh, third-party add-on mods made by other users. And that's what you would turn on there. But if you're just going to play a, a vanilla style, then you just leave that off and run it regular. Sound, you're going to run in here, and you're going to, if you have a very good sound card and a high-end CPU, you'll be able to turn it up to 128. Uh, the game is very loud, so I set mine up at 50%, and sound quality is on high. Be aware that it uses a lot of memory. Uh, camera, well, this is where you can change your field of view, change speed and all that stuff. Shaking cockpit, which I have turned off. I don't have it turned on in uh, Rise of Flight because it's really bad in there. Network settings. Uh, this is the usual traffic limit network settings you want to set if you have a high-speed internet. Uh, download 10 megabytes or more and 2 megabytes or more upload. These are your TCP UDP download ports. And then this is your IP that you will be interfaced with when the game's running through it. And that's about it on that. So when you're trying to make settings, graphical settings, don't do it. Uh, try to don't try to do it from inside the game. Run it from through here. And this is what you'll be fixing it with. And just push OK and start the game by clicking on your Steam icon. Excuse me. All right, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I haven't seen any guides on this, so hopefully it helps a lot of you guys out.